Hello, and in today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to build the nuclear reactor. These are the blocks you will need. 129 reactor casings, 18 reactor mainframes, 5 reactor cores, 20 reactor cooling frames, 1 controller, 1 input, 1 output. To start off, we will do a 5x5 five five area of the casings. Now, for break one block in the middle of any direction where you want to have the output. Then you'll grab your reactor mainframes and do the pattern like this. Controller in the middle and two more mainframes on top. You will do this on either side, but five instead. And for the back, you'll do the same as the front, but instead you will do an input. Then you want to grab your reactor cores and place five in the middle. Then you want to grab your cooling frames and put them diagonally from the cores. After that, you want to fill in the gaps with casings. Once you've done that, all that's left to do is surround it with the rest the remaining casings. Finally, put the top on the reactor with the last 25 casings. And once you've done it successfully, it will say in chat that you've assembled the reactor. And the final part of the reactor that I forgot to mention is you will need the reactor blueprint. To use the reactor blueprint, you will need uranium rods and graphite rods. Now, for the most optimal usage, uh, you can do it in any pattern as long as there's 11 uranium rods and 4 graphite rods. This will then give you uh, 196 power S uh, RPM, meaning 2 million SU. So now if I were to power this quickly... Put the uranium rods in the back and the graphite rods as well. You now have 2 million SU at 196 RPM. That's how to build the reactor. Also, uh, if you want to power this automatically, put a funnel back. Oh, sh uh, shift click onto the back. You then want to get some depots. Uh, let's say like this. And you're going to want to shift click onto these and then place it. You'll then just want to run either conveyor belts or something to power this. Uh, I'm using something called the Crate Utilities, which give me the power of Bluetooth in a way. For example, I can filter these chests so that, uh, let's say, I put this as the input of the frequency. 
Anything that goes into this chest will then appear into the same chest. So you can uh, have a factory somewhere or in one place and just it'll automatically transfer to the other one and output it. If I were to get rid of this, you can see that it disappears and there's nothing inside. So it has to be the same frequency and you can either make this public or private. I'll put the mods in the description.